Hello everyone. Welcome to Chaos and Order. Art by Susan Holt. That is me. Welcome, welcome. Uh, tonight is Magical May. Finally, the event is here. Hooray, hooray. Tonight is uh, Friday, February 27th, 2022. Hamali is here with me. Hi, Hamali. Hey, can you let me know uh, with a thumbs up or a heart or something that you can hear me? Pretty please with cream and sugar on top. Anne-Marie is here. Hello, Anne-Marie. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Hamali says, yay, magical May. Woot, woot. I am so excited. So excited it's here. Today is Friday fun day. Oh, yeah. Hamali says she can hear me. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Rhonda is here. Hey, Rhonda. How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for joining me here tonight. Before we get started, I wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping. If you are here live with me tonight, thank you so much for joining me. But if you are watching this in replay, uh, go ahead and put in the comments hashtag replay for me, pretty please. That way I know you are here and I know you watched. If you have any questions or comments, if you can um, put in some context for me, I will be better able to answer them and to comment back when I go back through and watch this later and reply to you, especially for those of you who are on replay. I will do my best to reply to everyone here live and in person with my voice. And uh, re on replay, I will type in the comments. Marcy is here. Hi, Marcy. Happy Friday. Right back at you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I usually ask for hearts and likes if you can hear me. Hamali has already done that. But if you want to give me some hearts and likes just because you're here and you're awesome, I would love that. And I am so excited that you guys are here with me tonight for Friday Fun Day. I keep looking over here at my notes uh, because I don't want to miss anything tonight. Tonight is the Magical May special part one. So I know you've all been following along right here on Chaos and Order, Art by Moi. And I wanted to kick it right off by showing you a couple of pieces of art right away. I'm going to move my little page holder over so I can see the prices. So these two do not come as a set, but they would look really great together as a pair. Here we go. We have Hidden Galaxy, that's this one, and Hidden Suns, which is this one. And by looking at them right off the bat, you really can't tell where the dot designs are. But if I tip this back, and it catches the light, you can see the hidden spiral on that one. And over on this one, you can see the hidden linear design. I poured these two at the same time, so they are sister pieces. <laughs> I have a sister. She's, uh, she's younger than me. <laughs> I don't remember which one of these I poured first. I said, ooh, if I turn them that way, you guys can see them. There we go. So these, uh, if you hang these together, Hamali says, ooh, those go well, so well together. Yes, yes, indeed. If you hang them together and you light them directly from the front, you won't see the dots. But if you light them kind of from the side or from the top, you'll see the, the dot designs. Marcy says she suddenly lost audio. Um, can, any, can anybody else hear me? I want to make sure that it is, it is not me. <laughs> So give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts if you can hear me. Molly says she can hear me. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I'll get back to these. So Hidden Galaxy and Hidden Suns. Oh, I changed hands. Let's change those back, Sue. 
they're on the right sides. So Hidden Galaxy and Hidden Suns are both 8 by 10 inches and they are $190 each. Excellent, Marcy's audio is back. Thank you so much for letting me know, Marcy. Um, so they're $190 each and uh, they of course, right now with Magical May, will come with a piece of jewelry of your choosing as the Magical May special event offer. Wanda is watching. Hi, Wanda. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching. So to find the jewelry that will go with this, or if you want to mix and match, just go up to the guide section at the top of the page, and you'll have to scroll all the way down through all the information stuff to get to where the art and the uh, jewelry are listed. All the prices and sizes are in there and um, the titles and all that kind of good stuff. So if you see something you like, go ahead and you can either comment in the guides posts or you can go ahead and message me, um, private message, and um, you can let me know which ones you want. Titles are great for the pendants and the earrings. They're all a little... Um, number letter and number code so let me know which ones you want and we'll get those sent out to you as soon as possible okay so that's those two pieces and I went over where the guides are keep looking back at my little notes because again I don't want to miss anything for you guys okay so the next piece I want to show you is this one and it is abundant red. It is 11 by 14 and it is $380. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I see Laura is here and Lisa are he is here. Thank you ladies for watching with us tonight. So this one is another one with the dots, but uh, let me get back to the price thing. So this is $380 and all of my pieces come with free shipping in the continental US. So if you're outside the continental U.S. and there needs to be um, a higher uh, shipping cost or, um, oh, I just had the word and it's popped out of my head. It starts with a C. Customs. There we go. Customs charges. Then we can absolutely do that. It'll just take a little bit longer for your pieces to get to you. Just let me know. So I'm going to do the drawing for the free art giveaway at the end of this. So if you're going to stick around with me, I appreciate that very, very much. Also, when I say something or hold up a piece of art that you really, really like, go ahead and give me some hearts and some thumbs up, some likes, all that kind of good stuff. Feel free to comment in the comments, ooh and ah, appropriately, as my mom would say. And I would absolutely love to interact with you guys that way. So I appreciate that very, very much. So, my next piece I'm going to show you is over here. Uh, Molly says, a smiley face with hearts and lots of other hearts. Thank you, Molly. Oh, yeah, these two I'm getting to right now. These are a couple of my favorite ones. This one is Diana's Vision. Uh, my friend Diana loves the colors blue, white, and gold together. So when I went to pour this painting, I thought of her. Uh, the spirals are some of the hidden spirals or hidden dots again. This black is really, it's kind of a shiny black, not a matte black at all. So it does pick up the, the raised dots. Um, unlike the first two I showed you, which kind of really hid them a lot. These, these kind of stand out on their own. And these dots are raised higher than the ones on the first painting. Not only because this is a bigger canvas, but because I took the time and I layered it and let every layer dry in between. So those really pop out. Hamali says, so much texture on the dots. Love it. Thank you so much. Hi, Julie. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. So yes, this one is Diana's Vision. It is 12 by 16, which is a great size. And it is $520, free shipping in the continental US. 
And on paintings like this that have the raised dots really close to the edge, um, I would not put a frame on that because the dots might catch and break. So I would leave this one unframed. And a lot of my paintings don't need to be framed, which is nice. The ones on Yupo paper, which is a, a plastic impregnated type paper, and the ones on canvas panel, which is a flat cardboard panel covered in canvas, those would need to be framed. Uh, these that are on stretcher bars do not need to be framed. So don't worry, it's a, about framing them. It's a little bit less expensive that way, which is nice. So there is this one, Diana's Vision. And the last painting I want to show you tonight is this piece. This one is Encroaching. And I named it that because I the paint here looks to me like it's trying to encroach on the raised dots half spiral over here on the end. On the side. This one is 12 by 24 and the price on this one is $730 and that includes the free shipping in the continental US just like everything else that I have here in my group. The paintings I have shown you tonight on the live video are actually in the um, Chaos and Order Art by Susan Holt uh, group newsfeed. So if you just scroll back down, I think there might be one more. This one might be coming up this evening after we get done with the live. But everything else is already on there. So if you want to go back and take a look at a better picture of these, I've even done a, a room mock-ups for all of them so you can see what they look like in a home environment. Kamali says, love the curved moon shape on this one. Right? Isn't that great? I love that one too. Tina is with us. Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining me tonight. So go ahead and uh, look back through and see what I have on offer. And again, check the guide section because there's a whole lot more paintings up there in the guide section. Okay. All right. All right, all right. So I wanted to tell you that when we look at art, it gives us a hit of dopamine. And dopamine is that happy receptor drug that our, our brains make. It makes us happy. It makes us calm. It soothes us when we're upset. And that's why I like to use some of my art pieces like this to start my meditations. I will look at them, I will take my three deep relaxing breaths, and then I will close my eyes and go, you know, set my intent, close my eyes, go into that meditative state. And I love making this uh, meditation and Reiki inspired art because every time I close my eyes, I see either a spiral pattern or a linear pattern. And that's what I put into my art and I hope you guys appreciate it too. So before we get into some uh, rapid fire questions because they are coming up, so I'm going to show you a couple of these little pendants that I've been working on. Here's the first one that I wanted to show you this evening. These don't have the edges filed yet or the little jump rings through there, but I did want to give you a little look and see that I do have other stuff that's not quite ready to go into the guide sections yet, but they will. This one, all it needs is the jump ring. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Diana says, ooh, <laughs> ooh in a good way. And Hamali says, your art is very soothing and perfect to start a meditation with. Oh, thank you, Hamali. Molly actually has a piece of mine, so I, I hope you have been taking advantage of that and, and uh, meditating or starting your meditation with it. Diana says, rocket ship, absolutely. 
Um, Diana, I know, is local, so she'll, um, she'll appreciate this one, which is a little monsoon season thunderstorm action. We're not quite in monsoon season yet. I'm looking forward to it. I always look forward to monsoon season here in the desert southwest. Okay, we're going to do rapid fire questions, and then we will do the drawing, live drawing, for the giveaway. I turn my computer back on for that. Diana said June, June 15th or so. Yeah, June 15th or so. Kind of just depends on the year. All right. Computer is back on for the drawing. Okay. Rapid fire question number one. Dogs or cats? You guys know I have a dog and a cat and I like them both. They both have so much to offer. Uh, Hamali says, yes, I love the piece. Uh, I have so much. It makes me feel very powerful. Excellent. Thank you. That's a great compliment. Tina says both dogs and cats. Diana says cats, but dogs are also awesome. Marcy says cats. Uh, Hamali says so hard dogs. <laughs> and I know Hamali has had a cat. Um, Rhonda says cats. Excellent. Excellent. As some of you know, I have been in, or I was in the, um, shelter pet rescue um, uh, field for um, about five years. I volunteered and I worked for a couple of different shelters here. So I love it when people <laughs> like cats and dogs. So thank you very much for that. John is watching. Hello, John. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, just missed the rapid fire question about uh, dogs or cats. And if you want to answer that, you certainly can in the comments. Next rapid fire question. Meditation with your eyes open or closed? I like to start with mine open. Like I said just a, a couple minutes ago, look at one of my paintings, take some deep breaths, set my intention, and then close my eyes and do um, a meditation that way. So what do you guys like to do? Diana says closed or she gets too distracted. Rhonda says closed. Marcy says closed. Hamali closed. And Tina both. Oh, that's fascinating. Excellent. 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 And the last rapid fire question for the evening. Favorite color? Rhonda says LOL. Excellent. So favorite color. I have three favorite colors. I like a nice um actually this this is my favorite my very favorite color diana clark says indigo Rhonda says pink hamali says blue white and gold oh just like that one and tina says greens blues and teals hamali says aqua teal marcy says purple and teal excellent excellent so this kind of soft light teal is my favorite color nice little aqua. Uh, my second favorite color is a nice light buttery yellow. Mm, butter. And my third favorite color is periwinkle blue. Yeah, because it's fancy. Okay. I wanted to remind you, moving on, I wanted to remind you all of that. I do have commission spaces open. So if you don't see a painting that you like or need in your home, I can make one for you and with you. I have talked about how my, um, my process is for commissions. It's a lot like the monthly paintings I do here in the group. I... Uh, get on a live call with you and we have a one-on-one -on -one painting session after we get all the colors and the size and uh, all that kind of good stuff worked out. And then we, I pour the painting live with you and ask you, do you want hidden dots? Do you want raised dots? Do you want um, the dots that are uh, just white? Do you want them all different colors? Uh, Cindy is watching. She says hello from the salon. Hello, Cindy. Thanks for joining me tonight. So uh, after we get it painted, pour painted, I'll let you off the call, easy peasy, and then I will talk to you about what end finial designs you want, because they're all different on each piece. Because I want you all to have an individual piece of art that is a one of a kind, not like anybody else's piece of art. After that, 
If you want to watch me paint dots on it, you absolutely can. We'll do a Zoom or a FaceTime Live kind of a call for that as well. And if you have a title suggestion, we'll take your title suggestion and, and name it that. If you don't, we'll come up with something else. And finally, we get to ship it off to you. Hey, hey, Joe Claire, right back at you. Thanks for watching me tonight. I am about to do the drawing, so you're almost just in time for that. So before we do that, I'm just talking about my commission process. So if you would like to commission me to uh, do a painting for you, go ahead and say, hey, Susan, I'd love a commission. Let me know what's involved and I will private message you. You can also private message me with that and we'll get right on it. So the, the sooner we get your commission painted and ready to go, the sooner it gets to your house. Okay. Let's do this drawing, shall we? These are the three little paintings that I have shown you. They are all wrapped up nice and neat and pretty. So these do have the sequins and the glitter on them. Here's the blue one. Here is the purple and the yellow one. Now these are actually um, all the primary colors and they're complementary colors. So uh, on the color wheel, red and green are directly across from each other. That makes it a complementary color. Molly says, hello. She's so pretty. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. Uh, blue and orange are directly across from each other on the color wheel. So that makes them complementary colors. And yellow and purple. So if you win, you will get to choose one of these three paintings. If, however, you don't like any of these paintings and you win the drawing, you will be able to choose any painting that is four by six. These happen to be on canvas panels. See how skinny they are? So they will need to be framed when you get them. All right. Joe Claire says, how awesome that you create something special for someone. Yes, absolutely. And I love making commissions for people because your vision and my creativity and talent come together. And so it's a little bit of both of us. So it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I really love working with you guys. Okay. So now we're going to do the drawing. I have 42 people that signed up for the drawing. So if you signed up, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now let's spin this wheel and see who's gonna get a free painting. By the way, uh, shipping is included in the free painting. You don't even have to pay that. Uh, Lisa says um, purple heart and yellow heart. Excellent. Yes, I'm, I'm not surprised that you like the purple and yellow one. All right, here we go. The winner is... Tina Palmer! Woohoo! Congratulations, Tina! I will be reaching out to you this evening right after this and uh, letting you choose which one of those you want. So let's talk afterwards. Lisa says lunch with the artist is amazing for delivery too. <laughs> Absolutely. Diana says, woo, lucky Tina. Molly says, congrats, Tina. And Tina says, wow, thank you. Thank you so much for signing up and being here. Joe Claire says, yay, Tina. Excellent, excellent. So I think that is about gonna do it for tonight. We have two more lives coming up this weekend. Saturday and Sunday both have lives at noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, tomorrow is show and tell. So we don't have a drawing tomorrow, but I do have some show and tell stuff I want to want to show you with a little bit more information as well. And then Sunday is studio time Sunday where I will be, hmm, I will be putting dots on a canvas. I have three of them. 
Yes, I have three of them that I need to work on. So stop by then. And if you haven't seen me paint before, watch me paint. Uh, you get to sit back and relax. I get to do all the work. I'll have a few other questions for you. If you have questions for me, I would love to do Q&A sessions while I paint. Ricky is watching. Hi, Ricky. Welcome, welcome. So if you do have Q&A questions for me, you can put them in the comments here or you can go ahead and message me and we will talk about those um, Saturday or Sunday while we're doing lots of other fun stuff. So those are both at noon my time, Pacific Standard Time. And that is it for me tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and happy Friday evening. Uh, I am Susan Holt. This is Chaos and Order, art by Susan Holt. And thank you so much for coming to the show tonight. And for those of you watching in replay, thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody.